Welcome to Denver. What appealed to you about the Broncos and what sort of impact do you hope to make here? Uh, just a lot of new additions these guys bringing in and just moving forward. I just see the progression of the organization and I'm just ready to win and just get to work. Go ahead, Zach. Hey, K1, welcome to uh, Denver. What, what, what do you expect your role to be here? And you've been a big playmaker in the past in so many different areas. Uh, what, what, I, how are you able to do that from that position of the slot corner? Uh, it's just a, just a niche position that I've just been able to play a long time in this league. I got experience. Uh, I'm ready to lead and um, being able to just bounce off some ideas off, off of all the D DBs in the room and being able to just elevate our whole defensive side of the ball and just being able to attack the ball and play physical, play physical. And that's all that's going to be our standard on our defense side of the ball. And do you fully expect to be in the slot? Yes. We'll go Kyle, then George. Go ahead, Kyle. Hey, K1, Kyle Newman from the Denver Post. Uh, what was the biggest moments of adversity that you've gone through in your NFL career so far, whether it was with the Browns or 49ers, uh, especially as you were you know, trying to prove yourself and, and break into a starting role in this league? Uh, I would say probably just coming in as a tryout when I was a tryout in Cleveland in 2014 and just being able to play, like get a long playing time when I was a rookie around some vets. And I just say just adapting to that situation right there was uh, probably one of the most difficult situations when I came out of college. Go ahead, George. Hey, okay, Juan, George with the uh, Gazette. I uh, wanted to ask you a little bit about the, the secondary that you're joining now. They were one of the best groups uh, in the NFL last year at that, that position. What do you know about those guys, Justin Simmons, Pat Sertan, Ronald Darby, and, and how much are you looking forward to joining those guys? I'm excited. Uh, I know Pat Sertan, he's a young corner in his league. Um, I feel like he's going to blossom moving forward. Uh, Justin Simmons, he's obviously a pro bowler, and I'm just here. I'm here to um, – be a missing, I mean, be a puzzle, be the uh, missing piece of the puzzle for the guys here and provide an inside presence in the slot for these guys. Go ahead, Troy. K1, what makes a good slot corner? Because it's kind of a, a unique position. And also, is it Super Bowl expectation for you as someone who's been to the Super Bowl and had two you know, deep runs in, this, in the playoffs these last few years? Uh, you said one makes the best uh, good slot corner? Yeah, that's the first question, correct. Um, just being versatile and being able to uh, make plays on the ball, being able to tackle, being able to communicate with the guys around you and uh, just have that inside presence in the inside, you know, being able to fit the runs if they're running at you and just being versatile and be the Swiss Army Knights for the defense. But you also – and do you have Super Bowl expectations for this team? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I've been there. I've been close. I've played in the Super Bowl. I've been to NFC Championships. but. Moving forward, you know, we're just trying to win here. If you no longer have a question, can you please lower your hand? Go ahead, Mike. Uh, yeah, K1. Um, what do you know about Ezero Evero as far as your interactions with them, going against them a couple times a year, the last couple of years? And uh, what kind of D coordinator do you think you have there? I think he's excited. I'm excited to work with him, uh, speaking to him today, just bouncing off ideas and seeing how he wants to attack offenses, um, I'm excited about it. And being familiar with the Rams in the conference that he's coming from, I kind of see how they play defense. And uh, I'm just here ready to help out. Go ahead, Eric Delala. Hey, K1, you've got four sacks over the last three years, a bunch of tackles for loss, quarterback hits. How did that kind of become part of your game, that physicality and ending up in the backfield? Uh, just being able to when coaches send me on a blitz, I make sure I want to get home. I want to provide presence. I want to. I want to be able to. You know, if I'm blitzing, if I'm getting out of coverage, I want to be a presence inside while I'm rushing. So it's just something that I've been doing since I was a rookie, and I just love it. Is that something you did in college, or how did how did they kind of figure out that you had that skill set? Yeah, I did it a little bit in college, and then more so when I was in Cleveland, my first few years, being able to uh, blitz a few times and uh, getting home getting some sacks early, it just built confidence. Go ahead, finish this off, Ryan. Hey there, I uh, apologize if you've been asked this already, but you have 11 forced fumbles in your career. How much pride do you take in not only making that tackle, but creating that takeaway? I mean, getting the ball is everything, you know, providing the offense with more opportunities to make drives. 
I mean, that's, that's what we do on defense. We just want to get a takeaway any way possible, whether it's a forced fumble, PFL, or just making big sacks or whatever. It's just you just got to be there and make plays for your defense and being able to sacrifice for the team and, um, and make plays when your numbers call. Thank you. K1, thanks so much for taking the time. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, that's going to do for today's media availability. We'll be in touch about future availabilities uh, in due time. Thanks so much.